we all shared our daily routines and they're all kind of similar, right? We wake yeah. up, we pray, we read our well, Bible. You know, what, you know the funny you thing know? is that we all do? What what and this 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 kind of this take this will separate and this will change guys' lives. Men who start their day with God find a way to get through their day better. Yeah. I mean, so, it's a right, non-spoken, like, it's a non-spoken answer, right? It's that it's, it's like, that old axiom. Your actions speak louder than your words. What are you doing? This is what, what all of us said, all four of us said we did the same thing first thing in the morning. And I'm not trying to throw shade at Shu. Um, because he said like he reads his Bible at night. The one thing that we all do, because you can read your Bible at night too, it's fine. But the one thing that we all do is the first thing we do when we wake up is we acknowledge our creator. Yeah. We give our creator his time. It's not the end. And not saying it can't be the last thing you do there in the day. You should do both all throughout yeah, the day. I mean, it's not you something that ends. But I but think the, there's something very, your very day. important about start beginning your, your day. day with God. Yes. I mean, start God. your day with him. Yeah. You have the, to. Another piece of a practical thing I wanted us to hit on was the like the Christian community part and like practical yeah. advice on finding Christian brothers. Because I feel mm -hmm. like most of the guys a lot of the guys today do not have that at all. Mm -hmm. And they're maybe getting it through proxy kind of with like our podcasts or other Christian content creators when that's not enough in the end. No. So well, how, they should join, what's they should join the Iron Disciples? Yeah. yeah. But even, but even then, like how do they find brothers locally? You got to right? have some balls and go out. Then and they pray. should join pray. the Iron yeah. Disciples. And you should pray. I'll say this. I'll say yeah, this. I'll say this because I learned this. Guys, well, you know, guys all up. meet up guys, at the gym? Did you but guys here's something that's going to kind of help you because, like, you're not always going to like the, the people that God puts in your life. You're not always going to think you're cool. Like, Mike and Joe and Glenn, like, you guys are guys that I would want to be friends with. Like, Heck I don't yeah. give a shit if I was a believer or not. I'd be like, these guys are cool. You guys get my sense of humor. There's a lot of this kind of crossover that we have. And I'm like, just. I love being around you guys. You know, I love yeah. being around you guys. It doesn't mean that's not a qualifier to, to being able to start saying iron disciples. There's a lot of people God might be pinning in your life that you just, you know, they kind of aren't cool. They don't know the cool stuff to say. They may not be well, interesting. I think, you, I think you need to add the core. You know, like you gotta, you gotta have tolerance for them too. And be like, you know what? I love you guys. Well, of course, but I think, but like, you I think be able it's to... important. But like, here's what you guys did. And this is this is something I really like and proud of that you guys did is that you guys became friends. You started this fellowship together. And then you guys just kept on adding people to your fellowship. Right. And you guys got people not just in Florida. You got people all across the country that are in all over the place that are in your guys's group. And this is what this is the beauty of it. You guys have facilitated a space where men could go and talk to each other in this Discord group or your or your chat groups. And, and and hey, Bob, where do you live? Oh, I live over here. Oh, guess what? I live an hour away. Now they have a place to get together. You guys created like a a a, a space for men that are Christians, not that are just isolated to the local place. But that's what that's what I'm saying. That it's so beautiful what you guys did, and that's why I say, well, if they need it to find took, somebody, well, it took, uh, it join took the like Iron Disciples. The Spirit, you know, you have to be communion with the Holy Spirit all day long, and yeah, supplication and prayer. And when he, when when you feel that, when you look at a guy like Mike in the gym, you're like, you know, I'm gonna go talk to Mike. You know, like maybe I'm gonna start a conversation with him, mm. or maybe just say, hey, you know, move in faith. You know, put your foot out on that water and expect hard ground underneath well it. i think some like yeah. practical advice number Good. one you should be praying and asking god for connections with christian yep. brothers right so i think that was kind of like a like a thing we are all were doing yeah and it mm -hmm. happened and god Absolutely. just made it happen sure. for sure and then um i think like i think you need the core group of men to be like more than just christian brothers they need to have similar interests because we talked about that like we've all been in small group with it's men. ideal i'm trying to say like i mean it's I mean, not nice, because bro. we're the coolest it is really bro. nice when you got like well, a, god's a well, big no. god god's a big guy he's not too big or small to make those things happen because because what like, 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 like not everybody not every christian guy you run to is going to be as cool as us like we no, get that. that's no, what no, i'm trying no, to like, say bro like well, i'm not going to be as cool to a lot of other guys that are like maybe they're nerds or maybe there's something else exactly i won't be as cool to someone else 
that's what I'm else. saying. It's they like a subjective thing, right? Like it yeah. is a subjective but, thing, but we gotta admit we're we're the top tier. Hey, well, oh, when, right. you're, when you're like you a, it, when you're me. a liver cell or like a bicep cell, you're gonna want to commune with other <laughs> bicep cells because that's yeah. what you're doing in the but, church of God. Okay. But like the evolved, the more mature approach is saying, "Who did God put in my life?" Look, if there's this weird guy that I'm always seeing in the sauna or at the gym, and God's like, you need to disciple him or you need to talk to him. There's something you can learn from him. Though, with the no, I get it. I get it. Because because the idea of friend is like common instruments. And honestly, the three of us, I mean, I'm just speaking from my point of view. I never had friends that were in the church that didn't feel like school friends. You know, exactly. like the guys. No, were, no, no. I, I feel you on that. Yeah, dude. Like so I never I, had that. that I was like, I'm... okay, like I'll put up with you guys. Like the jokes you say are kind of cringe, and like I don't. So understand. That's, that's my whole point here because I think like my complaint, and I think most of our complaints were, I've been to men's group at churches numerous times. They never, you never stick them out. You never get close with them. Like, and that's the thing. You need to find, I think, to have the core Christian brothers of the group that are that you need more than just your Christian brotherhood as a in in the friendship. We have the gym. And a lot of other things that connect like us. Like-minded besides, interests is what you're saying. You have to have some like common. Interests. Well, that's that's and meet we and found things. like we find it's, it's been great to meet guys at the gym. Like so, if yeah. the guy, a lot of guys that are probably following us, like the mm. advice I would give is there's a shocking amount of Christian men at the gym. Yeah, and a sh- and most of them are not like going to church and stuff from our conversations. So like they're lone wolves. Make friends with yeah. these people. Start your own thing because you're gonna have similar interests yeah. that help these things bond closer. Yeah, that's absolutely. that's a good practical point because like. In your area of interest, if you're spending time at the gym or you're spending time playing see, racquetball or whatever, them, you see them not it just have to be gym. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be the gym. Like, if you're right, a whatever, comic you're book collector, whatever, if you're you a fisherman, get, if you're exactly. a, a RC car guy, or you know, whatever, exactly, whatever it is. That, that's exactly yep. what it is. It's like yep. if you collect Pokemon, you know, you can yeah. find Christian guys that like collecting Pokemon. They exist. They're they do. There. And the thing is, the, the one thing that Mike said about it is like, you know, he's praying with intention. God, help me find these guys. And then it's also, you have to act with intention. You know, there, there, yeah. there's, there, there's an act for content. You have to be intentional with the connections you make. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think that's important. What did she say? Yeah. Becca says, I... We, Becca, I we've had know. we've had this request back a few times, and to, I'll just read it since not everyone's watching. I, I know this is a men's discipleship community, but is there a part of your ministry that's space for women to connect? We've been no. wanting that for a long time. <laughs> and no, honestly, we're a, trying to crack the code on it. We want to crack it. We want our women. He man, woman yeah. haters club. No women we, allowed. Uh, he man, woman haters. We have some women we would refer you to, like Martine. Um. My mother. Who else? Kidding. Rachel. Rachel well, Wilson. Even like I think some of the guys yeah. in the group have wives, and it'd yeah. be a great thing for them to start to get together because yeah. the men already are getting together. I'm so. getting my wife with yours, Glenn. I know. You know Coco know. and Julie. That's about to happen, and we. This has been a serious concern of ours too. Be, but you have to understand the chain of consequences when the men don't connect. It goes downstream to the women. So we're trying yes. to, to deal with the men first. And then see that happen with the women. But that is seriously top priority for us because we know it matters for them. And the men that are married, if you have a woman out there that's just all by herself, that fellowship is a command for her just as much as it is for us. That's right. And we're just exactly. now figuring out us. And we're trying we're to get to like them ladies, too. Man. I think I think it's important for ladies to realize is that you you have to create the fellowship that you want. So if you want to connect with other Christian women, or you don't look for guys, guys, why? why when, when are you gonna start like opening the door for us women? No, no, no. You need to build it. You need to build it. You need to build also that. Think now. Women don't want like the format that we do. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to figure out their own. Yeah, format. they're gonna have to figure but out. But one thing know, I wanted you to have add to build into... it yourself. No, like, we'll help. For... We'll help. I yeah. mean, we're leading by example, but we'll lead by example. But no, that's we're great. Not building it's great. It for but you, you know, but the idea is first of all, we care. We see it as yeah. a serious issue. That's that's important for for them to understand it. Like we see it. If we're having an issue with it right now, we're talking about how it's hard for us to connect. We know how hard it is oh, yeah. for them to connect too. And I think I mean, that think it, about it. We are we're we're in completely different coasts. Okay, but like this fellowship, what we do here, and when we connect, it's so a priority for me that like 
I will make it. Even though I'm late, I will be there because it is important for me to have this relationship. It is, it's an, I have a purpose with this relationship. God opened the door intentionally for me to walk through this relationship. So it's a priority for me. I don't know if women can make it a priority for them. Well, it's, they have it's to start. More, well, it's more I mean, a matter of there's a hunger there. Get together, there's a it's hunger a matter there. Of I've heard it from your wife, priority. Coco. I've heard it from Julie, from Becca. I've heard here. it from I've heard it from women, and it, it's absolutely some sisters need sisters the same way brothers need brothers. Yeah, and we're here to uh, to extol our sisters the same way we have to do for each other, and a lot of that is just you know. We have to encourage one another to say this is a this is a possibility. Yeah, and I and think to step out in faith and say God will provide Amen. this yeah. orchestration. Yeah, and he I, will provide it even if we're on different coasts. He's going to make it work, even if I don't know like Julie and Coco. There's a difference within age. There's a difference within there's a. But we have to step out in faith and say God's put this person yeah. here. Let's move ahead and let's see this thing become. Yeah. Let's see the fruits of this. And in addition to that, I want to say that it's important for women to gather just as it's important for men to gather it is by themselves as men exactly. or as group not with the intermingling is like okay we're all one big happy family and, with and, men and, and women that's... no it's important for men to get together as men and women to get together as women by themselves because and this there's... is the important part like i want to say this is like the way that we talk in a men's space is different when we talk with women around absolutely okay and and, and the children thing is... And all and of the so above. The, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why this space has to, not in my, in my opinion, it has to stay entirely for men. Now, we could create a separate space that is for intermingling, right? But this space has to be this way because we talk to each other very a different way than we would talk to women. Women don't like the things that we say because we, we just say the truth and we don't sugarcoat it. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, you know, put a bow on it and make it sound Well, pretty. you know, like I'd say this, I'd say this. Okay. So, so it's not that women don't like the truth. It's that they're more allegorical. They're more implicit. Men are more direct. We're more deducive in our reasoning. There's an undercurrent to our communication that's defined by our sex. We're more yes. proficient. We can move faster when it's just a group of 10 guys. When it's yeah. a group of 10 guys and two girls, we have to like, you know, like kind of chew it up. And then, but, and that's, there's a space for that, right? Like there's there a church on Sunday where we all get together and we speak together and it's great. Yep. But this is what's been missing. This exactly. is why this, what we're doing Western right now. Church, the Western church is asleep because there hasn't been enough guys getting together just exactly. as guys to bang on the gong. <laughs> exactly. Know? It's not it's enough. Not, it's, doing it's, it. What we're doing is we're, we're, we're calling men to arms. This is the war cry, all right? We're, we're, we're sounding the alarm right now. We're saying, hey, it's time to get your gear on. It's time to go to war. We're going to war. As you guys are saying, we're not battling against flesh and blood, but against principalities of darkness. This is not a social gathering where we hang out and sip tea and eat cookies. No, we're saying, hey, it's time to go to war. Gear up. Are right. you fit for duty? Are you ready for battle? Yeah. If you're not, that's why you are losing in life. And Man, I don't want to stand. If, I, if I'm standing things. shoulder to shoulder with you, with you guys, it's going to be going into battle. It's not to be facing yeah. judgment saying, God, why were you guys asleep? Why were you sitting on your hands eating donuts and cakes and cookies? Dude, what we were you some doing? Good donuts last week. That was, we? That's another subject because those <laughs> things were great. But I don't want to be facing judgment with you guys. I want no, to get our commencements medals. Yeah. I want to hear well done, my good and faithful servant. 